Hello friends. Today we are going to speak on the topic of diabetes and the oral health issues. Can a diabetic have all the dental treatments like other normal people? Also, what are the complications or relation of your diabetes and the oral health? How can your increased blood sugar levels and cavities or gum issues occur because of this? So, come, let us watch in this video what is the real connection and solve some myths. Subscribe to my channel Dr. Mansi Shah and get tips and facts related to good oral health. Hello and a very happy morning to all of you and here you are on my show Monday mornings with Mansi and my YouTube channel Dr. Mansi Shah. Friends, as you all know, diabetes is a condition in which the body fails to process the blood glucose. What is exactly this glucose? It is nothing but the sugar or the carbs that we eat in our diet. When this sugar is not broken down and it is not stored in the cells or it is not transported to the cells by an hormone which is called as insulin. So this hormone when it fails the process of breaking down this blood glucose level fails then we suffer from a condition what is called as diabetic. There are two types of diabetes type 1 and type 2. Both of the type of diabetic patients can easily have dental treatments if their sugar is under the control. Diabetic being the second most common uh, disease in the world, it increases three times the risk of having gums and teeth issues. So how does it increase? Now when you are diabetic, your mouth also has some blood flow. In this blood also there is more of sugar that is found. Diabetes increases the risk of having more cavities and more infection. It decreases your capacity to fight with these bacteria. So what are the risks that are involved or how diabetes or the hormone insulin is responsible to give you that dental and oral health issues. So the first most thing is diabetes. If your sugar level shoots up, what is the first thing that you notice is inflammation or redness in the gums that is you suffer from gingivitis and periodontitis that is what is gingivitis and periodontitis okay it is nothing but redness swelling bleeding of the gums it can if it is in at the greater stage then it can cause bone loss mobility of the teeth the second thing is uh, you found a lot of cavities or caries in the diabetic patients. That is because the blood has sugar. The sugar attracts the bacteria and at the faster rate, the caries are caused. It causes demineralization and the process of how the cavity is formed is started at a greater speed. Also, it sometimes causes soreness of the whole mucosa and the gums. There is a lot of infection or pathological conditions that are associated with this diabetes. Also, diabetic people have a major symptom of more hunger and more thirst. Because of this more thirst, there is dryness in the mouth. The dry mouth is also a reason for increase in the cavity. The next thing is, if you are diabetic, a lot of infections are found in your teeth. These infections are usually oral thrush or candidiasis. So if you want to avoid all these conditions, what you have to do? Visit a dentist and they can definitely help you out. How? A dentist can help you treat all the bacteria, the cavities, the caries and the infections, the pathologies. So how is this done? By just simply drilling off the tooth and filling it up. If, even if it is a root canal treatment, a diabetic patient can easily undergo this treatment without any worry. The next thing is cleaning of the gums. To avoid gingivitis, that is bleeding and inflammation of the gums, uh, you have to undergo a treatment which is called as scaling or cleaning. What happens is the plaque in the calculus, the buildup on your teeth is easily removed off. The pocket formation uh, is closed off. What exactly am I speaking about? The plaque, calculus, pockets. Difficult terms? Watch my video and you will understand. I am sharing the link here. So what exactly are these terms and how 
does it affect your gums so once this is cleaned the cleaning treatment is done then your gums do stay in a good state the next thing is extraction that is removal of teeth which many of the diabetic patient are afraid to undergo but let me tell tell you that yes a diabetic patient can easily and safely undergo an extraction or teeth removal treatment the other conditions of candidiasis and oral thrush can be treated by medications now there is a common thing which is discussed or a myth which is discussed everywhere that if you are diabetic you cannot undergo dental treatments no if you are diabetic your blood sugar levels are very much high then and then only you cannot go a treatment but if your blood sugar levels are very much in control what is the normal blood sugar level normally fasting has to be between 70 to 100 and post prandial that is after food it has to be somewhere 100 to 140 but even if it is below 200 you can have any dental procedure for removal of teeth why controlling of sugar is important it is because the injuries has to be healed quicker also the bleeding has to be controlled or it has to be stopped easily that's the reason you have to control your sugar and how can the sugar be controlled by just visiting your physician change of some medicines or some intakes of insulin having a good walk doing some good exercise and a control on the diet these three things if you do it your sugar comes down in control and then you can easily safely have this extraction procedure also when doing the cleaning treatment which i would recommend for every diabetic patient to undergo at least twice a year that is in every 6 months so if you are diabetic make sure that you keep your gums in a great and in healthy condition so in the scaling treatment what i was telling you about that if you are doing the scaling treatment also there is some bleeding and some injury that can happen to your gums so having a good control sugar is very much important and you know that there is a research that if you have good condition of your gums your gums are not inflamed or infected then your hba1c level if you are diabetic you know what i'm speaking about it is an average of sugar levels in your blood or of the 3 months so your hba1c levels drop down how is that so because if you are diabetic your gums become inflamed there is infection that is caused this infection is not only present in the gums but it passes down to whole body and then the whole body gets infected and the body cannot treat this because there is high level of sugar but if the infection here is treated then it is not there in the body and that's how the percentage or risk of infection is reduced so do not get afraid but take right steps keep your sugar levels in control and you can have easily any dental procedure also it is important that when you are diabetic you maintain your oral hygiene in a much better way obviously everyone has to maintain a good oral health but if you are diabetic or having any conditions which is more harm uh, which is harming your oral health then you should take some extra care use of uh, flossing or interdental brush and a mouthwash is a must must if your uh, dentist is suggesting you some uh, gum gels which can improve or some astringents which can improve the health of your gums then start applying them the brushing it has to be there there has to be no food lodgement make sure that you brush properly rinse after every meal this certain steps which everyone around should follow but you should definitely follow so make sure you follow them increase in vitamin a and c can help you improve the health of your gums eat more of fibrous fruit and less of sugar this will help you from preventing of cavity so this was a quick uh, maintaining tips on how can you have a good oral health so if you have liked my this video do share it with um, uh, with your friends and family members do not get afraid of any dental treatment do like comment share and subscribe to this channel dr mansi shah stay healthy stay happy and stay oral fit thank you